with me uh, outstanding rangeman uh, Chris Voke. He's already notched about 140 winners this season. With a month to go, Chris, you might beat your record of about 150 a few seasons ago. Yeah, it'd be good. It'd be good for the bank account. <laughs> and uh, you've got uh, probably a, almost a full book of drives at Gloucester Park on Friday night and we start off in the first race, you'll probably drive real zeal. He's drawn He's drawn to get into the money inside of the back line? Yeah, I think so. Um, he's He went well last start, was sort of out figuring. Um, the race wasn't really run to suit and um, from that draw he'll love it. He loves the pegs and uh, if he gets a split he should, uh, he should be in the money, I think. In race two, Arden's Concord. Uh, drawn the back line, the outside of the back. Uh, a good effort, went third to the, the Freedom Fighter last week. He didn't get clear uh, in the closing stages, did he? No, uh, look, whether he could have got over the leader is problematical. Um, you know, the leader's, a nice, the leader's a nice horse, so, um, you know, he should get an economical trip um, in from that draw. Uh, and it looks to be a little bit of competition off the front line and the back line horses making moves, so... I think he'll be fitter too for, the, for that run last week, so I expect him to actually run a better race than he did last week. So uh, another each way chance with some luck, Ken. And uh, you won with <coughs> Celestial Ruler, the old timer, a couple of starts ago, and you followed that. Celestial Ruler ran fourth at his next start, so he's maintaining his form, the old fellow. Yeah, he, uh, he did draw one, though, when I won on him. Um, I think it's the 2500 again, I believe, is it? 2130. Oh, 21, is it? Okay. Um, must be another race, 25. So... Look, tricky draw. You'll probably have to try and find a helmet early. Looks to be a bit of bit of speed underneath him. Um, but if he, if he lands handy, he can maybe figure, I think. And then we have a look at the four- and five-year-old. Uh, Anvil Rollover and uh, Rock and Roll Beach Boy. Uh, you're nominated to drive both of those. At this stage, have, uh, have you got a preference? Well, I mean, Anvil Rollover drew one against Rock and Roll Beach Boy last start and Rock and Roll Beach Boy couldn't beat him, so I'd say... That puts Anvil Roll over in preference. And then Casey John, um, I qualified him. He runs second in his heat, and he, he actually went very good. So, And he's drawn reasonable off the back line, but um, looks like the six may be able to to cross. But, um, yeah, I'd say I'd be tossing up between Casey John and Anvil Roll over. Uh, yes, you had three, the choice of three drivers there. Or drives there. Now we can look at the big race, the Cargo yeah, Bulls race. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you'll be a spectator in the uh, big race with the Chicago Bull drawn five and Jambiani drawn four. Jambiani will be at uh, very long odds, but I should imagine you'll be, you'll be driving the handsome Costa Del Magnifico drawn barrier two. Yeah, Jambo, Jambiani's going pretty well though. His last two starts were both 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 reasonable. Um, he got held up in the fast mile rate mile race he was in first up, but Costa went good last week. Hard to see them beating um, you know the likes of Chicago Bull, but. Uh, Costa has drawn a bit more favourably. We could probably end up lead us back, three back the pegs. and I mean, I'll probably leave that up to Ross. And then that way, if he puts me on the wrong one, I'll blame him. Well, I looked at Costa Del Magnifico during last week's race. He ran seventh in a field of seven, but it was a very good last because he was doing his best work on the line, I thought. Yeah, he did, and he, and he still had the earplugs in. Um, look, he, he can earn money in this race. You know, like I said, hard to beat, hard to beat Chicago Bull, but... Um, yeah, he's probably a reasonable chance to, to run a place and earn some money. And for Chris King, you'll be driving free to air in race seven, I presume, drawn nicely at barrier two, ran on well to win at Bunbury um, at his last start or a couple of starts ago. Yeah, it was um, Tuesday, Tuesday. Was it Tuesday? Uh, no, yes, it was. It was Tuesday. Yeah, well, last week, last yeah, Saturday, Saturday night. It was Saturday. Um, need to get the calendar out, Ken. Um, yeah, he, he'll, uh, he's got a nice draw there and he's he should be close enough to him, but... I think good times ahead's been going well. Lightning, lightning jolt. If he ever recaps his his best forms, a nice horse. So, and Bo's mystery actually, he went real well last start too. So, is it? And I guess Fire Brace, your horse, Ken. Yeah. So you've been upsetting the handicapper again, getting barrier eight. Barrier nine. Thank <laughs> you very much for Fire Brace. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's a couple. I think you can make a case for a few horses, and um, you know, Three Days won his last two, so you can make a case for him too. Then we have a look at uh, the, the race for three-year-old fillies. It's been redrawn. I see Veiled Secrets uh, uh, drawn barrier four. Uh, but um, she's an honest filly. I would have rather the first draw when she drew one. Uh, yeah, she is an honest filly. Um, now she comes out in that draw makes it um, makes it a little bit tougher. Uh, Angela Harlan beat her quite easy last start, so I, I don't really know where she's at as I haven't, I haven't driven her for a couple of weeks now. So... Um, 
yeah, if she was at her best form, she can she can definitely be competitive. But um, whether she's there or not, we'll soon find out Friday. And Chris, a lot of people are calling you last race Voke, and uh, you're driving uh, Call Me Buddy, I presume, from Barrier 2 in the last race? Yeah, well, hopefully I can win that. That'd be good. Well, the problem is the last race now is normally only worth eight grand, so the 5% is worth about 100 and, no, 175 bucks. <laughs> Says I'd, ra I'd rather win the Metro race worth five or 600. So, so maybe I need to get the programming to start putting some Metro races in the last race. Tell me about Call Me Buddy. Uh, he's got, he's, he, look, he, um, he went good first, he went well first up, um, and he's been reasonable there after being a hard horse to get gated. Gary's done a, a, a very good job with him. Um, I'm just having a browse at the field as I'm talking to you, and it looks pretty even, so um, B17, you know, he may, he may, he may try and lead, but um, yeah, he, he actually could be an each way chance. A good little sit and kick horse, I think he's going to be better, you know, next, next season. Thanks very much, Chris, and all the best of luck for topping your best uh, season's effort of 150 winners a season. You've got four weeks to go to drive another 10 winners. That shouldn't be a button off your shirt. Yeah, well, I didn't want to go. I don't want you to go for the early crow yet. Ken, I'll probably get suspended now and I won't even get there. I fingers crossed we do to be good. Um, yeah, like I said, and I probably more hope that the uh, good old Royals get over those Claremont demons. <laughs> well, we've beaten you twice out of the last two times, so East Perth are running good seconds to Claremont. Well, in 2006, we, I remember when I, I played Colts Freeze Perth, we gave your guys a touch-up in a grand final, so I'll just hold on to that. You were lucky that I wasn't uh, young enough to play Colts in 2006. <laughs>